With blood stagnation, the tongue takes on a more purple colour and the pulse becomes firm and wiry. The lips can also take on a purple tinge in severe cases of blood stagnation. The stagnant blood can also cause pain, which may be described as stabbing or a deep, boring pain. The pain is usually in a fixed position due to the stagnation, where the blood isn't moving. Blood stagnation can also affect the menstrual period, where the stagnation causes the blood to become clotted and also darker in colour. In the case of blood stagnation being caused by trauma, such as a deep or severe muscle tear, the blood can stagnate the local channels leading to pain in those channels. Blood stagnation can be due to a number of causes. As qi moves blood, if qi stagnates then blood will also stagnate. Similarly, a deficiency of qi would result in there not being enough qi to move blood and hence cause the blood to stagnate. Heating the blood will dry the blood out and also the body fluids causing the blood to become thicker, which will slow down its movement and can cause the blood to stagnate. In a similar way, internal cold, for example with an underlying yang deficiency, will cause the blood to contract, slowing its movement and lead to the stagnation of blood. Trauma can cause blood to stagnate through blood loss, but this will affect the flow of qi. From the saying, qi moves blood and blood tells qi where to move. Therefore, with less blood, the flow of qi will be affected, which in turn will affect the smooth flow and movement of blood. Trauma can also lead to blood stagnation through the body's natural process of clotting in response to a trauma that has resulted in bleeding.